These are all the tools I had to use. Any pair of scissors will work for cutting the double-sided uh, tape padding. A screwdriver just to pry off um, the little C-clip and a T25 and any uh, dull object to pop off the plastic rivets. Okay, here is the packaging. Our radiator screen, oil screen, and we got some instructions. Parts list. Uh, instructions. Back page of the instructions. And that's it. All right, step one is cutting the supplied pieces here to fit on the side. Here they are attached. And also on the bottom piece. All right, next we're gonna remove the bottom plastic right here. On each corner it has two little plastic pop rivets. And then it has uh, two I think these are T25. Let's see. Yep, T25 uh, right there. And for the pop rivets, I just use a really small Allen key uh, to pop them out. So for these push rivets, you should just be able to push really hard on the middle piece with a punch or an Allen key like this. <clears throat> And you can see the centerpiece pop out underneath. And you can just uh, pop the rivet out. I just insert it again and then pull it out. And to replace them, it's the same procedure. You just push it in and then you push this piece all the way flush again. After it's all disconnected, you'll see that it's just attached these hoses in here are just attached in these little metal brackets and you just pop them out. And your piece will come off. So this plastic piece is still in the way to get to some of the things we need. Um, so I hear it read online that if we loosen this thing up we might have enough room. So I think I'm going to take this one off. Uh, this guy and this one down here, and hopefully there'll be enough uh, play. Let's try that. Okay, so after removing those, we have a little bit of play here, and I think we can reach the rest. Okay, next I'm gonna unscrew this piece right here uh, from both sides. All right, because of this step, you have to attach them both at the same time at this mounting point. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this bottom one to get it all disconnected so I can kind of stick them all on at the same time. All right, so this piece down here is attached uh, just with this little hook. We'll get a screwdriver and pop that thing off. All right, I decided to start kind of at the bottom of their installation thing and put this piece on first so it can be held in place so that all these other ones can be lined up and attached together. And I found in their instructions that they just uh, have a V picture like this. And then they tell you to put this piece back on there. But as you can see, when you line it up, there's no way you're going to be able to get that piece on there without taking this washer off. But for some reason, they still have that washer in their picture. For the installation so I guess we just need to take that off line this up again and now we should have the clearance once we get it all lined up to put that uh, pin back in all right once we pop that back on it's gonna hold this piece in place for us so we can uh, get the top part lined up okay put this piece in and finagle it under the corners of the plastics. 
All right, that wasn't too difficult to get those in there. Now we have uh, these pieces here lined up kind of like in their instructions and we'll be able to put that bolt back through. Okay, once we push our plastics back in, these are gonna line up nicely. Put this back in. I just wanted to note that mine had a little plastic washer on it that came off with it when I put it in. All three of the screws that I took off down this row were the same, but uh, this one down here, where are you? This guy right here, the plastic washer stayed on there, so uh, just keep an eye on that. And the one that I took off uh, up here from the top of the plastics did not have a plastic washer, uh, but the other two did, so you might want to keep make sure you get those back. Okay, after we tighten all of our plastics back up, that's what the final product looks like. I think they did an excellent job on the design and the materials are, are great.